welcome back to my youtube channel and happy new year to everyone i hope you had a lovely christmas break i know i did i started to feel a little bit of pressure because i am so used to trying to upload to youtube twice a week and i was comparing myself to other youtubers who were still uploading during the christmas period but i do have a full-time job and it was my christmas holidays and i really wanted to take that time to just completely be present in the moment have some quality time with family and friends and i just wanted to put all youtube stuff aside um, even though YouTube is a total hobby of mine, it takes a lot of time and over the holidays there's been friends popping in, family want to come over or we'll go see them and we've just been really busy but now things are starting to settle down. I still have one more week of no work and I am so keen to just get back into routine. I don't know about you guys but I feel like two weeks of a total break is pretty much enough for me and then I start to crave the routine. And I woke up this morning and I was just like, yes, January the 1st. Let's have a reset, let's get organized, and let's get back into routine. I absolutely crave it. So, yesterday afternoon, my new agenda arrived, and oh my gosh, like that was the final piece of the puzzle. I have been purchasing online from a few different places just all the inserts and accessories for it plus I've been given some from my friend Lou who lives in the UK in our box swap she sent me a bunch of planner accessories and I've had them all sitting in a shoe box in my desk just waiting for my planner to arrive and it arrived yesterday so in this video I really wanted to unbox everything that I got with you guys and start putting it into my agenda and then from there I want to do just a very casual flick through just to show you guys how I've organized it and also these things will change I this is just the start of many planner videos I can already feel it and I'm so excited um, but yeah I'll just go through how I've organized it plus I made some of my own kind of inserts and dashboards which I haven't actually tried yet so I'll try those with you guys um, but I've made myself a coffee and it is just the perfect day to do a full reset I have cleaned my office my desk is all clean I'm ready to go and I'm so excited to just sit down it's almost like scrapbooking I'm so keen to just relax and just go through and get my life organized so without further ado let's just get straight into the unboxing really hard and I think it's because I want it to be perfect from the first time round but I need to realize that this agenda and diary is very flexible I'll be able to move it around and customize it to how I like it over the next couple of weeks months even over the next couple of years I feel like I could just play with this for hours and hours and just reshuffle reorganize everything because it doesn't feel like it's perfect but I do think right now I have a pretty good system now this is not my first um, like leather kind of agenda I have had multiple before from Kiki K and I used to use them so often when I was at uni they were my second brain there is no way that I would have been able to work and do uni at the same time without uh, a planner so then after uni I thought you know what I don't need this big thing I'm just gonna go to a smaller diary I just have to think about work but I very quickly realized that no I do need a big planner because I am someone that has constant thoughts running through my mind 
in all areas of my life and I really do need to get them onto paper because it's stressing me out. So I have moved from this diary here, which is from Kmart, but there's no notes, there's no sections for me to do any brain dumps, there's no to-do list, anything like that. So I am going to be moving on from this one into the agenda. And the other thing that I've had and been using is this here and I just made it myself. It's just like a little binded kind of notebook and this is where I put down all of my YouTube video ideas, any Instagram post ideas, anything like that I put in here. So I found myself carrying around both of these things plus multiple sticky notes, just lists everywhere um, and I just thought you know what I need to go back to a proper planner and get everything into one place. So after unboxing everything and going through my agenda and giving it an, an initial flick through, I realized very quickly that I wanted to try and create my own kind of dashboards because I wanted to attempt it in Canva. I thought, how hard can it be? It proves to be quite difficult. But I also wanted each section to almost have like a little bit of a title page. So I'm going to show you guys some of my handmade dashboards and Unfortunately, when you do a full size image and you print it, sometimes there's like a white border and that makes the whole page obviously smaller once you cut them off. So what I'm thinking of doing is going to buy some black card and just cut them all in half and then I will stick these onto the black card so that way it's got a little black border. So these aren't um, finalized yet, but you guys will get the idea of how um, I'm thinking of planning this. So my morning has been so busy. I've been rushing around. I went to the stationery shop. Um, I wanted to get card to print this on and anyway, and I just wanted all ready to film this video. So now I knew when I opened my agenda, the first thing I wanted to see was my vision board for the year. Now, I don't know if I've shown you guys my vision board. I, it usually sits right here, like 24 seven. So when I'm on my laptop or doing anything, I can glance at it, but I always take it down for videos because it kind of just, I don't know, it can make it look a bit messy but anyway I've just sat it on the floor but this is my vision board this is my one from last year so I'm yet to reorganize this if you guys want to see a video on how I create my vision board let me know in the comments below I would be more than happy to um, film that I've already got all the images that I want on my vision board for 2023 but I just haven't printed them off and cut them out yet so I am yet to completely take everything off here and redo it. But this was my vision board for last year. And this motivates me so much. Like I will be working and just as I feel like, oh, I don't even want to edit this video or I just want to go to bed, I will look at this vision board and it just gives me more energy. It's almost like when you're at the gym and a really good song comes on. This is the visual kind of version of that. And then I also have a few little quotes on here that I wanted to share with you because they really do motivate me. Um, the first one is align your actions with your goals. So I am very much a believer. Um, I don't like playing the blame game. I don't like, if I don't achieve anything, I'm not hard on myself, but I just know that if I want something, I have to go out and get it. It is not going to come with, come to me. Um, I need to actually think about it and be a bit more pur purposeful about my actions if I want to achieve that goal. So align your actions with your goals. Um, I thought that was a really good one. And then another one I have is a little progress each day adds up to big results. And that one for me, even if I don't have time to sit down for hours and work on YouTube or work on my blog, even sitting down for 15 minutes and doing a little bit each day will make a huge difference. So that always motivates me to keep going no matter how, if you're not motivated or you're motivated, just do any little bit that you can and it will benefit you. So in saying all of that, I wanted my first dashboard to be my vision board. So I created a little vision board on Canva. I have it here. Um, and I printed it onto this card and just put some hole punches. So that is the first dashboard I wanted to create. Now I won't go through every dashboard because I really did create a lot. I literally have a section for every part of my life and I have a couple of side hustles that I'm kind of working on that I haven't really shared with anyone yet. So I will just keep those sort of private, but I did create um, this one here. Um, I just did that in Canva. So um, that's for, I think anyone who has a planner kind of gets the gist now of what an inbox is. It's basically any sticky notes, any lists that I make, I'll put it all into the in inbox section of my planner. And then when I have time to sit down and go through it, I can then plan it and remove it from my inbox. So I thought that was a really good idea. Um, I've got by Shannon Reynolds. So this part of the planner will be where I have all my, it'll be basically this. 
in my planner. So that is the dashboard I created. That's just one of my own photos of my desk um, and my little logo thing. So I created that one. And then this one I really want to show you because it's so cute, but that's a picture of Ryan and Remy. Um, and it just says family. And this is a section that I want to have in my book for all things that I want to do with my loved ones, um, places that I want to go and see, any travel. I was going to have a section for travel and then a section for like um, things that I want to do with Ryan or my family or whatever. But I thought, you know what, I'll encapsulate it all in the family area. And you know, I drove past the ice skating rink the other day and I thought, Ryan and I should go ice skating one night. So things like that, I can write it in that section just so if we've ever got a night free, we can go through and have a look at you know, what we might want to do. So now it's time for the fun part. I wanted to go and do a bit of a flick through my agenda with you guys, just so you can see how I've set it out, how I plan, and also how I set goals and just all of that kind of stuff. So we'll just go through my planner. And then as we go through it, I'll also insert any of the new dashboards that I've created. So if I open this little clasp here, I've popped this little Gucci kind of perfume card here along with these page flags. These are items that I received from my friend Lou. And honestly, they are such beautiful accessories. Like look how beautiful these page flags are. I absolutely love those colors. So thank you so much Lou for those. Um, they really have elevated my planner. I absolutely love how this adds a little bit of color because it is quite black and white. So this is one of the dashboards that I purchased from Cloth and Paper. It says, fear only exists when you do not understand that you have the power to project thought and that the universe will respond. So I absolutely love that. It's basically talking about manifesting and that life is what you make it. So I thought that that was a really beautiful inspirational quote and I'm not sure if I'm going to have it at the front here, um, but I'm really happy to have it in my planner. So I'm just going to take that one out for now because I want to insert my vision board um, dashboard. See how it's too small? So what I'm thinking is just for the time being, until I get the black card that I have been wanting, I might just pop this one behind and this one here. Um, that way it kind of has that border around it. So there we have there my vision board and guys already I'm looking at this going that is very personalized and I love it. You can see right away that it is my agenda. These are all the images that inspire me. So I'm really happy to have this at the front of my um, planner. So we'll just flip that over and this here is my inbox. Now I, you may probably saw from the video, I just secured this cloth and paper envelope to this divider using a staple and it's quite discreet and I re I'm really happy with how this turned out. Um, and it's just kind of using what I already had without having to go online and purchase, you know, an envelope or anything like that. And then I am going to insert my inbox dashboard that I created and the reason why I had the writing down here is because I thought if I put it behind it might show through so guys you're seeing this for the first time as well as me so we'll just see how it looks again like I said I will get some black card to fill out the edges um, oh wow I am really happy with that that's exactly what I was going for so Already you can see that that is the inbox, um, sticky notes, piece lists, anything go into there, um, as well as some spare sheets for any brain dumping, ideas, anything like that. And then from there I can start, um, you know, putting it through out my planner where those thoughts and ideas need to go. Then we flip over to my diary. Now I'm just using this gold um, bulldog clip that I already have. I've got a bunch of these and I find that if I really wanted to just get straight to my diary, I can just grab the bulldog clip and put it straight to today's date. So at the front here with each section, I got these from cloth and paper and these were the um, week to view with a tracker. So at the start of every month, the cloth and paper um, diary has this section here where you can um, fill in your focus for the month, master to-do list, and then important dates. So here I've put initiating new habits. In order to achieve the goals I have set out for myself, I must start by imp implementing small changes every day. Keywords for this month, health, fitness, productiveness, and being present. I'm not even sure if that's how you spell productiveness or if it's even a word. 
but that is my focus for the month. It is all about starting to bring in new habits and um, align my actions with my goals. So that is the focus. Now on my to-do list, I have a YSL ca um, card holder giveaway that I need to get onto. I have it, it's now the 1st of January and keep your eyes peeled guys, that is on its way. And then I really wanna clear out my linen cupboard. Um, and then as time goes on, I'll add more things to my to-do list for the month. And then you have important dates here. So here you have a week to view. So you've got week one and then it'll have Monday through to Sunday. So today's date, I had Remy next guard. She was due for her next guard tablet, film YouTube and head to office works. And then here on this side, we have areas for lists, which is so good for me. These I just can't get enough of. I'm always jotting things down. We have a little tracker. So here I can put my daily habits. So that I really want to focus on. So exercise, elbow physio, and drinking water. And then you can track it along here. I only put this in yesterday, so I haven't been doing as well, but it'll help me stay on track. And then there is an area for notes here. So from June onwards, I only included the first, pa this page here of the month, and then it goes to July, August, September. And the reason I did that is because if I put the whole year in here, it is going to be very bulky and there's a lot I want to fit in my planner. So I really wanted to just reduce and um, make use of space. So I've left this section in here because if I have a wedding to go to, like I know I have a wedding in October, I can flick straight to October and I can go to important dates and I can put the dates in here. So that way when I insert the rest of the month, I will then input all the important dates where they need to go. And then here is where I want to put in another dashboard. So this one is going to be my by Shannon Reynolds dashboard. Now I purchased, so we've got a divider here for projects. Usually I would have, um, you know, something a little more customized like YouTube or whatever, but they didn't have those stickers obviously. So I just put projects because I felt as though YouTube sort of came under that kind of title. So I put that divider there and then I purchased this dashboard from Cloth and Paper because I absolutely love the quote. The harder I work, the luckier I get. And guys, I am not someone who is super um, career driven. I really am about work-life balance. I know that we've got one life and I don't want to spend it working. But stuff like this really does motivate me. And I think that there is a really fine line between having a work-life balance, but also I don't want to get too lazy because it's a very easy trap to fall into. So, and the reason I put it here is because this is where my side hustle project area is going to be. And that quote right there really does motivate me. So what I thought is have that at the start and then this dashboard to go in here. And that way you'll be able to see through. Now, looking at this, right now and thinking hmm I probably should have done this logo down here so that way it's not sitting right behind this um, so maybe that's something I'll change in the future what I'm going to do is keep a little list maybe at the back of my book or even the front of agenda or planning changes and I'll jot down anything that I want to change or new dashboards I want to create and then one day I'll get around to doing that so this here is going to be my section where I will have all of my YouTube planning. I just put a sticky note in there um, planning out this video actually. And then within this section of the blogging kind of area, I've also printed off my content pillars and also my mission statement. So if you are a YouTuber, blogger, anything like that, it can be very hard to find your niche and it is very important. Um, as you can see, uh, this is all kind of skills and tools that I learned from my marketing degree, but it is very important to have a niche and it can be very hard to focus on that niche and it can take a while to find it. So it's taken me almost two years to work out what is it that sparks joy? What is it that brings infinite amount of inspiration and something that I don't get sick of? And those three areas are sustainable style, organization, and luxury beauty. So that is just to help keep me kind of on the right path when it comes to creating content. And then here I also have my mission statement. So in my mission statement, I have things like what is my mission? Like what am I trying to achieve? What is my vision for um, my blogging? What are my goals and what are my values? So I really respect honesty. I really want to um, have a good relationship with my audience. So I've just written out a heap of stuff like that, which I won't bore you with, but I'm just going to insert them in here. And then I have another section here for additional projects. So one of the things that I love to do, and as some of you may know, if you've watched any of my videos, I love buying 
handbags and giving them a good clean and selling them on. I've done it for a while now and I just get a lot of enjoyment out of it. Um, and I've started to, I really want to focus on that in 2023 because it's something that I really enjoy doing. I like bringing handbags back to life and then making a little money on the side. If I do, sometimes I don't make any money, but if I do, it's a bit of a bonus. So I created this dashboard called designer trading and that is one of my images of a little bit of a bag spill so I'm just going to insert that in here and that will sort of go over top to protect it but they have it there I really like the look of that actually so that there will be my designer trading and then I also made some inserts for this section and it is where I will put the item that I purchase how much I purchased it for, what I sold it for, and the difference. And I already have a spreadsheet that I'm going to transition onto here where I've made notes of all of this stuff. So I will make sure to include that. But sometimes, you know, sometimes I lose money, sometimes I make money, and it would just be good to track it just to see, um, you know, just where I'm at with it. So I've created a couple of those. I wonder if there's another one. Oh, yep. So I created a few of those, so there is no, I will not need any more of those anytime soon. So then we get to the goals section and this is where I will be writing down all of my goals and just somewhere that I can flip back to and ensure that I track them. So I don't think I created, oh, that's right. I was going to use the black dashboard here. Oh, maybe I'll just use it. I know it doesn't look as great without the black border, but that's just, it's going to make me do it sooner if it doesn't look great. So I'll just leave that like that. And I want to make more of an effort to flip back to this section of the planner because often I sit down at the beginning of each year and set some goals, but very rarely do I look back, check on them, see what my progress is and just really um, remind myself of those. So, so here I have my goals for 2023. Um, in hindsight, I probably should have printed this off today when I was at the stationery place, but that's okay. This is something that I will type out and print out for my agenda. So I have health goals, fitness goals, relationship goals, personal, financial, and work. So from here, I have my goals. And now this is where it's led me into here. So this I can refer back to whenever need be. And from here, I have transferred daily, weekly, monthly, and annually tasks. So anyway, guys, this this I am going to put at the front of my um, diary just so I can see it um, more often. So I'm going to actually put it here. I will move it if I feel as though it's not in the right spot. I'm honestly just going in a little bit blind here because this is the most organized I think I've ever been. And then I'm going to put the goals at the back. I have a tab here for goals in this manifesting part here. And then again, I will, I want to print this out um, and type it up and print it out and have it a little more, um, maybe on a bit of card. And then I've got here family. So like I said, drove past the ice skating rink the other day and thought, wow, we should really go ice skating. This is where I can make lists of, um, I can create different titles. One could be travel, another one could be um, date nights, and I can start making lists of things like that um, to ensure that, you know, I'm reminded of them and we actually do them. So I've got that one there. Look how cute that is. Oh my God. So that is really important to me. Quality time. Um, that is like obviously my number one priority before anything else. And I know it's at the back of my book, but it's not going to be something I refer to as often. So just because it's at the back doesn't mean it's any less important. I'm just trying to work out what I'll use more. And then right at the back, I'm going to have my wish list. So I thought having it at the back would be a good idea because I can kind of, you know, you just flip to the back and it's almost like a little bit of a glossary. Um, but anyway, I'll pop that there and I'll insert some blank pages. I've got another packet of blank pages that I'll insert. And in here, I will have my handbag, wish list, clothing that I like, um, just anything, any brands. I, I might make a list of brands that I hear of that I sometimes I go to the shops and I see some beautiful brands and then, um, but I don't want to buy them because they're expensive, but I'll forget the name. And I would love to start jotting down brand names that I can go back and look on Depop or the pre-love market to try and find cheaper options. So guys, there you have it. That is my planner all set up. I am so excited to use this. 
I'm thinking maybe in a month's time I might create a bit of an update video and then maybe do it again in six months time um, and I'll put those I'll note that in my planner to ensure that I do it um, because I would love to check back with you guys on how it's going and anything that I've added or taken away. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow me over there because I can already see this is going to feature a lot just in general stories, anything that I've added um, that's not worth making a whole video out of. But if I buy any new stickers or just anything like that, I'll mention it all on my Instagram. So make sure you go ahead and follow me over there. Um, but I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please ensure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. There's going to be a lot more of them. And if you guys want to see how I like to do my vision board, um, make sure you let me know because I can film that for you. That is something that I plan to do this week is print off all the images that I like. I might make myself a nice drink one night, have a very chilled evening and just do my vision board. So anyway guys, I'll leave it at that. I feel like I could ramble on for days about this topic. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate in leaving a comment below or go ahead and message me on Instagram. I often get some of you guys messaging me on Instagram and I always respond. So I'd be happy to chat to you over there. Um, but yeah, plenty more videos to come. Stay tuned and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.